Hello! In front of me I have Garmin Vivo Fit 4 and I'm gonna show you how to customize the widgets on this device. Before we start, if you want to customize the widgets on this smart band, your band needs to be paired with a phone via the Garmin Connect application. Once the devices are paired, we can continue and basically open the uh, Garmin Connect application on the phone that is paired with our smart band. In the app, tap on the menu slash uh, more options icon to open the menu, tap on Garmin devices and then select your Vivo Fit 4 from the list of devices. Now tap on device settings and then tap on display. And here we have the visible widgets category. In it we have a couple of options. First let's tap on normal use and right here we can customize the widgets for the normal use of your smart band. So basically when you're not tracking the activity. First option is last displayed. If this option is enabled, basically um, the widget that you, that you were looking before uh, will be displayed again if you look at your watch again or other smart band. So if you you were looking at something like maybe date and then you stop using your smart band, you just go on with your day and then you let your smart band again, it should display the steps again because this option is enabled. Okay, next option or rather below that option we have as you can see list of widgets and we can enable them or disable them. So for example, if you want to go through the widgets on your smart band, you can simply press the button like this. And we have uh, time, date, uh, steps, steps goal, uh, calories, distance I believe, this is the uh, intensity minutes and weather. And we can enable or disable the widgets by simply tapping on the switch. So if I disable, for example, steps and step, steps goal, then go back to the um, Vivo Fit 4 page, it will say settings saved, then we need to press and hold the button to open the menu, make sure this Wi-Fi icon is selected and press and hold the menu button again to enter the pairing mode. The band will sync with our phone and the settings should be applied, so let's wait. Okay, once the settings are applied, if we go through the widgets, as you can see, the steps and steps goals are gone. Okay, let's go back to the uh, display, normal use. We can also reorder the items on the list. So if you, for example, want to uh, move some items to different, uh, on, to different position on the list, you can tap on reorder button and now we can uh, select the order of the items by, let's say, for example, I want to move the weather to be right after the time. To do it, press and hold on the sorting button next to the item you want to move, then drag it to the place you want it to be and release it like this. And once you're done, it should be right here on the list. And of course, if you want to save your, set save your settings other, you need to go back to the device page, this one, it, it will say settings saved and if you want them to be applied on your smart band you need to sync it with your uh, phone again so you need to press and hold the menu select wi-fi icon press and hold and wait until the devices are done syncing and once the device sync as you can see here we have weather right after the time okay let's go back to the uh, widgets next option in the widget category you have during an activity. And basically we can do the same thing, but when you're tracking the activity. So if you're tracking your activity on your band, the widgets will be different basically by default. And you can customize it again by enabling, disabling the options, changing the order of the options like that. And you can also enable custom widgets if you want. And last option is custom widget. And here basically you can create your custom widget, you can name it. Then go back and for example let's enable the custom widget right here. Go back, okay, save the settings. Once this settings save, sync the devices. So let's find the Wi-Fi icon. 
press and hold, wait until the band is done syncing with the phone. And once it's done, we should have the custom widget somewhere here, as you can see. Okay, and that's how you customize the widgets on this device. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.